there, Freedom Family. Welcome back to another episode of the KYC Notified. What have you guys been doing lately? Did you get a new haircut, like me? Or did you get that new Red Dead Redemption game? I haven't played it yet, but I'm really looking forward to it. Let me know in the comment section below because I love reading all of your comments, guys. And also, I would really love to interact with you. So, I'm gonna be seeing you there. Guys, have you ever encountered a content ID claim? Or maybe a copyright takedown? Have you ever asked yourself the difference between these two? If you have, well, that's great. If you haven't, well, Freedom Family, this is your lucky day because we will be tackling that on the rule of thumb. Are you ready, guys? Of course you are. So, let's talk about copyright takedowns first. Copyright law requires sites like YouTube to process takedown requests and describes the process we must follow. A copyright takedown requires the owner to submit a formal notice to YouTube with all the legal requirements filled out. You'll know if your video was removed as a result of a copyright takedown notice if, in your copyright notices, you see the phrase, video taken down. Copyright strike. If your video was removed through a copyright takedown notice, a copyright strike has been applied to your account, and you'll need to complete copyright school to regain access to your channel. If your video was removed in error through a copyright takedown, you have the options to request a retraction from the claimant, submit a counter notification. Otherwise, the strike will expire in its own three months. What about content ID claims? Well, let's take a look. Unlike takedowns, which are defined by law, Content ID is a YouTube system that is made possible by deals made between YouTube and content partners who have uploaded material they own to YouTube's database. You'll know if your video is affected by a Content ID claim if, in your copyright notices, you see the phrase, includes copyright content. In most cases, the claim is just to track or monetize the video, not to block it. Your video remains live with those claims, but may have ads on it, and you can still share it with others. Because Content ID is enabled by partnership, claims are not accompanied by copyright strikes, and cannot result in suspension or termination of your channel. Sounds easy enough, right, Freedom Family? But let's still break it down. Guys, to put things short, remember that copyright takedowns are formal requests from the original content creator of the video you have uploaded on your channel. If you have not responded to any of your copyright notices, YouTube will take your videos down. Now, in content ID claims, you need not to worry about takedowns. When someone content ID claim your videos, they will either track or monetize your videos. Let's explain what's monetize and what is track. Basically, when you say monetize, the claimant will monetize the video. Although you can still appeal to these claims. If you want to know more about this, hit that like button now and let's get it to 30 likes so that I can make another episode about this. Alright, moving forward, track is simply just tracking the progress of the video. When we say track, they track everything about the video the stats, the earnings, the views, and a lot more. That's it for the rule of thumb today, guys. Let's go to the KYC Build Edition. Our first partner is Jeff Tutorials. Hi, Jeff. How are you? I hope you are doing awesome today. I see here in your channel that you are doing a lot of reviews and updates on the game of GTA. That is really good. And also, I can see that there's a new edition of content in your channel, which is the Red Dead Redemption game. I really want to buy that game. So let's take a look at your videos. So when you're in the first part of the story, the story is quite linear. You don't really have access to the open world yet. And that is actually a super positive thing. I find this video very entertaining and of course very informative because I want to play the Red Dead Redemption 2 game and I want to become rich as soon as possible in that game so that I can buy those upgrades and everything like that. Although I want to become a millionaire too in this real life, so. If you have any tips on how to become a millionaire, please, Jeff, teach us. <laughs> anyway, thanks for the video. Let's move forward with another video. This is going to be a 100% promotional DLC for Red Dead 2 that kind of gets people hyped up about the game and also brings more awareness to the game from GTA Online players. In this video, you are talking about GTA 5 and a DLC that is coming out very soon. So I really like it. It's very informative. The Freedom Family, check out this video if you want to know more about GTA 5. And the race is pretty awesome, actually. I, I actually watched through the entire video. Thanks. Jeff, I see that your channel is in a very good path because one, you know your audiences pretty well, and two, you know what kind of content your audiences want to see in your channel. Keep up the good work, man. Yay. The one thing I can give you is to revisit your about page because in your about page, it kind of looks very empty. You can improve on this by adding something a little bit about yourself. Your social media, if you have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you can always post it down there or in the banners right here. These are some small suggestions that I can give to you so that you can improve on your channel. Keep up the good work, man. Jeff, I will have to rate your channel as 
Spotify. The next channel is Soul Candle Relaxing Music. One look at your channel and I know that you're providing relaxing content. It's also part of your name. I can use this in my life, especially right now. Let's take a look at your videos. It reminds me the time that I was sound asleep. Let's move to another video. Japanese ambience, so soulful, so relaxing. I wouldn't mind listening to these videos when I'm doing my research or when I'm doing my scripts. Freedom Family, you know that you are not allowed to use copyright content unless, number one, you have permission. A written permission is the best thing to have from the content creator saying that you are permitted to use these kinds of videos or content. If you cannot reach the content creator, what you can do is number two, fair use. I discussed in a separate episode about fair use and it says that you need to add more value to the copyright material as, as much as you can so that you can transform that content into your own content. I'm sorry Soul Candle, but I have to rate your channel as at risk of copyright. That's it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something from this KOIC episode. Be sure to like this episode by clicking that thumbs up icon. Leave down a comment or two so that I can read your thoughts, suggestions, or violent reactions. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon. My name is Noel, guys, and you're watching KYC Noldified. See ya. Hi, have you checked out our Freedom Forums? If not, well, you should, because you will find me there alongside free channel assets like audios, banners, thumbnails, and a lot more. If you want to hang out with me or with our Freedom staff members, visit our Discord page. See you there.